My pharma client had pasted together a bunch of stock art, but thought it would be oh so much cooler to have a 1080p animation. They gave me two days. I said yes because they pay well and usually on time. The concept was a flower with a molecule of the client's drug in the center. The flower pops up through the snow while melting the snow with some sort of mystical flower heat. In my head there were not too many elements. The flower would be fairly simple. I knew how to comb the molecular databases for an actual formula and create a model. The ground was a weird moss with a few rocks. And then there was the snow. Snow is just a very weird thing. It really has no color of its own. It bounces light in strange ways deep into itself and it glimmers. Everything I tried didn't look like snow. I was getting frustrated when I received good news from the client. One more day. Hurrah! Three days! Searching online for close-up shots of snow wasn't really working. Luckily, it was January, and while I'm in California, Mom and Dad are still in Ohio. Dad has questionable photo skills, and I knew precious time would be burned talking Dad through the process of sending photos over the Internet, but I was desperate. And in the end, Dad's photos were not that much help. So after a little more experimentation, I ended up with a very low poly surface populated with 225,000 instances of two single polygon snowflakes with a sprinkle of randomness applied. The extremely short timeline and the hours and hours of dead ends in snowmaking didn't leave a lot of time to finesse things, but the client loved it. So all in all, a successful three days.